Hello, Collective. Welcome back to another message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to remember we're not readings anymore. Um, but we have some updates. And I, I felt really cold. Okay. First of all, I'm sorry about the beeping. I really can't fix it. It's not mine to fix. <laughs> um, can't turn it off. I tried last night. I'm waiting for someone to come put the battery in. My apologies. So we're going to have to deal with it for a while. Um, but this came to my attention because I have a very interesting Lilith placement. And with this um, super moon eclipse that's coming on the 2nd of October, it's going to be in conjunction with Lilith. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, and, it, and we're also in Libra. So I'm here to tell you what you can expect. I've been dealing with this since yesterday. I could not record a video yesterday after this stuff kicked in because it's early energy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's a lot of conflict going on. There's a lot of stress, anger, anxiety, but it's all being released. So don't attach yourself to it. And this is the tricky part for a lot of people, myself kind of included. Um, why does the Wi-Fi always cut off when I do this? You know what I mean? Like, they just fuck with the Wi-Fi every time I, like, record a video. They they don't want me getting this shit out. I'm keeping you all up to date. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk about, like, a lot of stuff on this video. But most importantly, me and focus on the Superman Eclipse, because that's going to be huge. It's in Libra. Libra season. Yay. Let's go. What up, Libras? Um, and just be afraid. Don't be afraid. Whoa. Don't be afraid. But be aware is what I mean to be. What I meant to say is be on the lookout for feelings of fear. Goodness gracious, I can't talk. It's already happening. <laughs> but be careful. Be slow. Don't rush. Um, don't cling on the old patterns. Avoid overcompensating. And don't fear the shadow. So this is the part that's going to get a lot of people a little bit not upset, but like confused or like worried is the amount of frustration and anger you're going to like be faced with. It's okay to let it out. Just don't let it out on anybody. Okay. That's the tip. That's the trick. Don't, don't take your anger and put it on someone else. Just tell the divine, yo, I'm pissed <laughs> off. What do I do? <laughs> Just vent to them. Seriously. It's so much better to vent to the divine than to someone else for multiple reasons. One, because usually when you get a response back, your ego doesn't like the response that it gets, and then it's going to fucking fight back. And you don't want to fight with someone. If you're going to fight with anyone, you better fight with the divine because they're understanding and they won't fucking punch back, okay? <laughs> Understand that. Especially if it's you. Because it's like you're you're venting to them. It's like, hey, I'm I where is my stuff? I told I, I thought I was gonna be getting this, this, and this. I've been getting messages of that. I've been getting synchronicities of these things. Nothing's going through. What's going on? Where's the paycheck? Right? You can send it to the universe. It's fine. They're the one governing this whole thing. It's like, okay, so yeah, you know, we we know that we've been slacking and now we take your consideration, stuff like that. Like they're talk to the divine. But avoid conflict with people. Emotions are gonna be running high. Um, and if you have anything like important talk about with someone anything big save it because there's going to be a lot of high emotions um goodness don't rush the new beginnings though um you know what i mean so during the eclipse you reflect more don't just jump the gun like really allow yourself to see what you need to do where is this anger coming from these frustrations are showing you what's causing you your lack and you need to be aware very aware um of just how to fix it and you might it might feel like it's lying it might feel like it's fake to you and the reason why it's going to feel like it's fake is because it's new to you it's not fake. It's just a version of you that you're stepping into that you just haven't been aware of and or as open to step into. And a lot of us need to be pushed to that final button to do a lot of things still. It's just how it is. It's fine. We're humans. We got the human flesh. It's the fleshy shit. You know what I mean? Um, but don't cling to old patterns. And this is definitely that thing. Don't cling to old patterns. So if you do start up something new, right? Don't 
don't put the same energy from the past in it. Bring new energy to it. So, and I'm also hearing it like this. If you need assistance and 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 bucking something up, I'm going to say it like that too because it's interesting. Um, if you need help with like improving like a business or something, understand that your your main focal point of a business has so many branch points, and we've talked about this a lot on the channel. But they have a lot of branch points that they could go off to use that um it's a time for study and learning that's why a lot of us need to study and learn it's important to do your research too like you know yes you have people who are going to be informing you but you need to do research on what's going to be helping you because though you're getting all this other information is that helping you with what you need to do or is it just giving you clarity about what's going on and though that clarity can be very helpful it needs to be related to you a lot more because it's like it's your life that's being affected. And it's always good to be aware, but it's also good to be aware of like what you truly need versus what you just would rather have information of. Um and avoid overcompensating. Don't don't make things too difficult. Don't don't overextend yourself. Please don't overextend yourself. Like if something needs to be done, let it just be done. Just do it. Don't don't sit there and try and plan it, because plans are made to fail, okay? It's like a rules are made to be broken. You make something and it's going to have, it's like it's the rule of Saturn. It's going to have an opposing force. It's just what it is. It's the polar opposite. We live in a bipolar world. Hello. It's two poles, north and south. I don't, I don't know why we keep forgetting that. And that's a big thing. Like, I, I'm going to, we need to start spreading that kind of awareness because it's like people get so weird. Like, oh, I have bipolar. Yeah. Well, dude, everyone has bipolar. I was diagnosed with bipolar type three, whatever the fuck that means. And all that really means is that you don't know how to control your emotions. And your emotions are very sporadic very often. Crazy. It's like you just have to understand this. What does bipolar mean? Two poles. Polarities. You are a, a dual polarity. You, sh you, are, you should be happy that you're bipolar. You feel emotions. Good. You're not feeling one thing all the time. That'd be fucking awful. You have a variety of emotions to pick from. Be happy. Don't let that, oh, I'm bipolar. Yeah, good. Everyone is. Welcome to the fucking, welcome to reality, where everyone's fucking bipolar. Like, you know what I mean? There's only two mental issues, really. A lack of emotion or a lack of, uh, or like a, a lack of uh, thought. You know, those are the only two, those are the only two mental issues. Fucking psychopath or a sociopath, those are the only two. You know, and they both fall under the blanket term of narcissism. We can't tell the difference between the two half the time because it's hard to, so you just call them a narcissist. The only reason it's hard to tell the difference is because no one pays attention to the feelings anymore. No one knows what the fuck a feeling is. So then anytime you feel a feeling, it's like, oh, that's a mental issue. Like, no, bitch, it's your fucking feeling, you dummy. You let the reptilians confuse you again. Wake up. But don't fear your shadow. Seriously, don't fear your shadow. You, your power is in the shadow. And the people, like, they always, like, it's so funny because everyone starts to stir journey. Like, I hate the dark. The dark is so spooky and scary. The dark needs to go away. The dark doesn't need to do damn thing. The dark needs to just stay where it's at. It's doing its best. It's doing what it needs to do. Because let me tell you, if it didn't need to be here, it wouldn't be here. Okay? Okay? If it didn't need to be here, it wouldn't be here. That's just full-on truth. You don't understand if you still think like because that's the thing. Like a lot of people on on, on on in spirituality, they're still trying to like make things like I'm this side, so I'm better. No, you're actually not better. Sorry, hon, you're the exact same as the other side. Wake up. You know we have to understand this. It's the shadow side. You can't escape your shadow. You can be scared of it all you want, but it's gonna be watching. It's gonna be walking right behind you the whole time. You can't escape it. You might as well turn around and talk to it. It's going to be fucking following you for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Even if you're in the shade underneath the tree, it's still going to fucking pop up somewhere, dude. You know what I mean? So don't avoid that. Don't avoid what, like, is deep inside of you. Because that's that's the emotions. The, the shadows are the emotions a lot. The shadows is how you feel, really. Let's just be honest. Because you don't think, you don't like to feel. Like, oh, I feel like this. I shouldn't feel like this. Let me, let me, let me do something on the physical that that will stimulate my brain to make me think on a different course so I don't think that so I don't feel that way instead of feeling the feeling out and letting it just exist and leave and you know ending that cycle offhand. Everyone's so afraid of the shadow. Everyone's like terrified of it. And it's just because you don't want to admit that you're a bad person. You know, just as you're a good person, you're just a bad person as well. It's just how you are. You're not perfect. Because if you were perfect you'd be completely a good person. Or you know if you're completely imperfect and you'd be completely a bad person but you're perfectly imperfect which puts you in between both so 
you know, and it's just understanding these things and it's understanding as well because this took time uh for me to get a hold of not not too much time but it was like it was a, it was a thought that was interesting um but when it clicked in it really clicked in um but the only reason you would disagree with that is your ego because your ego wants you to be held on a certain pedestal whenever that pedestal that you're on is actually next to everyone else's pedestal and we're all on the same level so you're not better or worse than anyone actually ever so don't ever say that <laughs> ever because that puts you below someone immediately this thinking that you're above someone that puts you below them because you have to understand them you have to stand underneath them and see what's what their what their fucking baggage is you have to look at their shadow you have to go investigate them to go see what what's worse than than you and then you got to compare your good side to their bad side but then you don't compare your bad side to their good side that's an ego thing. I don't know. Y'all got to work on that if you're still doing that. Uh, but what you need to do is reflect on relationships. Evaluate if you're in things that you want to be in. Are you with people you want to be with? Do you want to talk to people that you're not talking to? I mean, make these moves. It's time to do it. We're entering Libra. Hello. Things going to come back in the balance. Slingshot effect. Come on. But really just... And if it is like you're reaching out to new people, are you doing it because you feel like you are lonely? Or are you doing it to kind of step out and branch out and you know what i mean like really dig into the reasons of why you're doing something it's very important to be conscious of your actions um it's a lot it's like it really is and people don't understand that but like i mean just look at society and look at all the people who are like not even conscious and fucking doing shit do you think let's let's kick it together not pointing any fingers or anything but really it's like it's so important to be conscious because People will literally stay in situations that are just awful for them. And it's like, oh, I'm just going to stay here because, like, you know, they don't know what to do because they're not consciously aware of the situation. All they're seeing is what their ego is allowing them to see. And your ego is your brain. Your ego is the free will. Um, but set set boundaries as well. Setting setting hard boundaries, especially for, like, relationships and stuff as well. Um, and even getting into these new relationships might even be showing you how some of your boundaries don't want to be crossed. Maybe it's like, I don't want to vibe with someone that hasn't, that isn't consciously aware of certain X, Y, Z. Like you don't want to train, you don't want to like teach someone from a certain level. You know what I mean? Like it, 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 certain things like that, just making sure that you're doing what you want to do and not feeling bad about it because it's, it's your preference. You have the right to have a preference. It's the whole thing of being here. Like you get to, that's the, that's what you get to do. But are, are you, you know, make sure your preference is based towards you and not towards someone else. It's perfectly fine. And then as well, like balancing energies as well. But this Lilith energy with the moon is, is very important. Um, because Pluto is also a Capricorn. And then that's going to be exiting Capricorn and going into Aquarius um, during the eclipse. That's going to be fun. Um, and that's ending a lot of the trials, the tribulations. A lot of the slowing down energy is going to end a lot from that and with Aquarius it's going to slingshot and it's going to be very personal uh it's going to be personal development personal growth um businesses things like that it's like very relationship it's that, uh and um focused that's how it's that's how it's coming in but it's very important to pay away uh be it uh be, I can't, even talk. I can't even talk but it's super important to be aware of that i think we have jupiter as well um jupiter saturn mars and venus i believe i know venus for sure and i know jupiter for sure i think saturn's still out i think mars is out but i think those are like the main main planets um the pallades are still hanging around but the andromedans are getting ready to bounce out because i there is a new race coming in i'm not sure what it is but they're coming from oh my god what 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 where where were the black holes spawning at i forgot it's the ones that no no i forgot the the i think it was the andromeda that popped up all the black holes actually but there's there's a new um not new i'm saying new as in like they're coming back but i don't i can't
Well, I know the Octarians are here, yeah. But I'm not... Is that it? I, I really can't, like... I can't get the name. I'm sorry, I apologize. But there is a new energy coming in, so be aware of that. Um, I am here in bugs, so probably Mars. Be aware of Mars. Yeah, oh, shit, there we go. Let's be aware of Mars. Be aware of Mars. I feel like I feel like something going on in Mars here soon as well. But um regardless, there are a lot of new beings kind of just coming down and getting things ready for the next three ish years. Um as well as if you haven't been paying attention to like the media, very much paying attention to the media is showing a lot of um effects of what's going on in the spiritual. And I'll leave it like that. You know, I'm not gonna mention the names because you all sure already know the names by now. It's been they've been talked about forever. Um but recently um information came out about uh I'm I'll say if I get the information came out about Diddy and my and MJ, which is interesting. Um, and if you haven't heard about that, basically, uh, Michael was to cover up for what Diddy was doing, which is why Michael got those pedo allegations. But we're not going to jump into that because we're not like a political thing over here. But just paying attention to that and understanding that the scapegoaters are being found and the scapegoatees are being uh, saved. Even if they have passed away, their names are being cleared in the sense of Hollywood just being a fucking... Mm, you know what I mean? And who and they rituals and shit. Uh, but regardless, just paying attention to, to the media and seeing and, and like spiritualizing it, not seeing it with like your eyes of seeing, oh, look at all this like social media drama and really seeing it as the divine breaking apart, like the deep, dark secrets that, that everyone like knows about. But, oh, we don't have proof of it yet. And then the proof finally comes out. Then when that stuff starts happening, start paying attention because that's the divine showing people who are their eyes open and are aware enough to see what's going on what's going on because the fall of babylon's happening i don't know if y'all noticed that but it's happening we also this the hurricane we had we actually had i think i forgot what year but we already had this hurricane the exact same and everything like years ago so they're just really recycling everything again and it sucks to say that but like that's what's going on like it's just gotta you know get real with it um but a lot of cycles are happening for a reason, and it's because these last last moon cycles ending. The last moon cycle is going into the sun cycle, and like it's just over. Like there's not much else we can do. We're coming out of the dark. We come back into the light. Just how it is, you know. Um, but it, it it's super important to pay attention to these things at this time. I feel like that's everything I need to talk about, though. It wasn't. I, I didn't expect this to be like a super long, detailed thing. Um, but just to just to give updates about what's going on, um, I'm still working on the video for health. I'm going. I'm doing a lot more than I thought I would be doing. I'm going into reflexology. Um, I'm getting the herbs and stuff written down and stuff for for things. I'm going over like basic chakra systems, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna go over like the so the chakra system just briefly. You know what I mean? Like just do a whole video short video focusing on one chakra each and you know this is what you can do effects foods crystals colors meditations mantras all sorts of shit you know reflexology all you know everything about it that i can find um and then just doing that for information for a while and then doing the health video after that because the health video ties in with the chakras and i'd rather not make an entire video on the health, the health and chakra i'll just make like a playlist of all the chakras and then the health because i want because the health really goes back and represents the chakras a lot because it goes into like gut health and like detoxifying worms fucking that's all sorts of shit archons um everything but yeah we got a lot of interesting stuff a lot of um knowledge also 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 since we're, um if you haven't noticed yet the community tab i have a facebook page i've had a facebook page for a while um it was uh you know but i had to revamp it if you want to go follow over there go for it um we're just gonna be sharing photos information just tidbits of stuff that i find probably like a lot of like research notes we're gonna be over there too i feel like it's just gonna be a lot of things that 
while I'm absent here in researching here and doing things, there's going to be like everything else, like the 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 things I find, tidbits, information, photos, uh, like candle work, spell work, stuff that can help protection, hoodoo shit. You know what I mean? Just just various things to help. So why not? Um, so if you want to go follow over there, go for it. Um, regardless, thank you all so much for being here. Um, if you're wanting uh bracelets or anything, um, go to the description. If you're wanting, um, also yeah, I'm gonna talk about that too. The new service I have, the one-on-one -on -one service. Um, the one-on-one -on -one service. I know I'm not meeting you in person. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a way to. Just not going to. It's gonna be over phone. It's a one-on-one. -on -one, it's a personal service. Um, it's a one-time fee of fifty for the main issue that you're having. Um, and we go as long as we need to until you feel fully capable to move on from that issue. Um, but it go, it's not just like a normal healing where it's like, oh, we're going to do recce and we're going to do all this. No, we're going to like really get you to heal and, and show you the power that that has given you. Um, so like, let's like, we're like, really, it's going to do like, it's a, it's a whole mental Evaluate. It's like a mental change, a physical change, an emotional change, a spiritual change. It's it's something that I've gone through a lot and had. And it's like I've I've gone through the steps of it, and it's really it shows you your power, and it it really breaks down these systems of disbelief, these systems of oh I'm gonna fail, oh this is scary, oh this and that. Um, so if you're interested in that, please hit me up. Um, I have slot. I don't know if I'm gonna have slots or not. For I don't know how many people are really gonna be interested interested in it um but regardless that's going to be there um but yeah if you're looking for that i i got you and like i've you know if you need like what i've healed from well i've healed from people trying to kill me multiple times i've healed from being abandoned by my family i don't hold for grudges against anyone like it's it's i'm just just weird but it, it's a mental thing and like it's not going to say that it's like going to um you know, I'm not trying to like sell you a dream or anything. I'm being realistic with you where it's like, you you know, we're both going to put full effort and, you know, work on this together um, in different ways. And it's going to be associated to you where it's going to be fitted towards you, not, you know, that's what I mean by one on one. It's very much going to be like, so how do you feel about this? Where are you at right now with this? And then we're going to start from there and move up. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in that, hit me up. Um, it's not like a therapy thing. It's more of just understanding a deeper evaluation um not really explaining to you why these things happen but allowing you to gauge your own understanding of why they happened and allowing you to see what the divine was really trying to do because a lot of times on a spiritual journey the divine puts us through shit that we're not even really sure of what we're doing or like why we're going through it but it's so important for us to understand those lessons so that we can grow from them and that doesn't hold us back in like a blockage so i have that i have that service for y'all um, on the Google form, but regardless, if you want those services, go to the description, you know where it's at, everything's there, um, but regardless, thank you all so much for likes, comments, shares, and subscribes, and donations, whether they are energetic or financial, I don't care, either way, they are, I appreciate both of them fully and wholly, but I love each and every one of you to the moon and back tenfold and forever, and I will see you later.